standard of success and legacy in terms of this program? What are those words mean to you, and how do you embrace that going into 2019? Uh, for me, you know, um, I think that means um, just being a good teammate to everybody, uh, winning baseball games, and uh, expecting to be in Omaha every year. Um, I think that's something everybody says on this team. Uh, it's a goal that we have every year, um, not just getting to Omaha, but winning a national championship. So um, I think that's what that means for us. For me, I think the guys who paved, paved the path before us, um, you can talk about all the guys who came through here, um, kind of created a way for us. And you can't forget about those guys. Because um, you know, without them, the program wouldn't be where it is today. And hopefully, you can just come in here and kind of you know do the same thing for the guys who come in after us. Nick, what's the competition been like to, to try to, for everybody to try to get one of those spots in the weekend? And how's this? How's the preseason been so far? Uh, you know, um, Coach Mack always talks about how competition in this program is never short. Um, I think this past fall and. Um, as we're continuing with uh, spring scrimmages, there's been a lot of competition up and down uh, the pitching staff, starters and relievers. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to be easy for anybody to have a certain position. Um, I think it, everybody's fighting for something. So uh, obviously competition makes it a lot harder, but also m brings your team together as well. So I think it's been a really good competition throughout the pitching staff. Brian, what's it? You, you've been around Coach Williams now for four, going on four years. You know, when it's this time of year, heading into the season, what's he like for you guys? Is, is he push you a little bit harder? Is it, you know, does he get quiet? What, what's he like? No, he's great. Um, he doesn't really change his, his mentality. Um, he kind of trusts the process. He, he's worked with us all fall and then now with, uh, in the spring. So, no, nothing really changes. We're all comfortable. Um, we're all competing for jobs. You know, the pitching staff's really, really talented. So, um, nothing's really given to anybody. So. Um, he keeps that, keep that in the back of our mind that, you know, go out there and compete because, you know, the guy behind you is looking for the same spot you are. Brian, what do you think your role on this team is, is going to be a, a week away from opening day? I'm honestly, I'm not sure. Um, that's a great thing about this program is that nothing's ever set in stone. Um, we like to, you know, you're at your positions and not just given to you. Um, yeah, we all like to be a starter, but, you know, only three guys on the weekend can be a starter and only one midweek starter. So, um, you know, whatever role I'm, I'm given, I'm going to go out there and perform the best of my ability I can. Brian, you were drafted by the Giants last offseason but decided to come back for your senior season. What went behind that decision? It was tough. I mean, uh, me and Coach Mack talked a lot this summer. Um, we kind of weighed the pros and cons of, you know, leaving for the draft or coming back here for my senior year. Um, and we kind of felt like, you know, the pros outweighed the cons where if I came back, um, we got a good freshman class coming in, um, a lot of experience returning, and that it could be a special year. And um, if I came back, I could help contribute to, you know, having, having a special year, hopefully get to Omaha and win a national championship. Nick Water, talk about some of the freshmen, and we've heard a lot of good things about the, the guys on the, on the, in the pitching staff from the freshman class. What have you seen as an older guy who's been around? Uh, you know, um, I think the freshman pitchers and also the freshmen uh, like players as a whole, um, I think they're very talented um, and I think they're going to play a huge role in helping us. I think we have a good balance of older guys and freshmen uh, and I think we're really like close as a group which I think is going to help us as a whole but um, you know guys like Jack Perkins and Kerry Wright and Carter Lohman and obviously the other freshman pitchers as well, I think they're going to be very beneficial and be able to help us out this year. So. Nick, what are you what are you better at now than you were at the end of last season and, and maybe some strength that you worked on in the offseason? Uh, you know, um, I didn't go to summer ball this summer. Coach Mack and Coach Williams and uh, our trainer Pat and uh, Coach Farrell felt like it was better for me to stay here and uh, get some classes out of the way and uh, work out and get stronger and uh, work on a few things on my own here uh, in Louisville. So um, I think something that I'm a lot better at from last year, I think my uh, change-up command has – come a long way and I think that's going to be something really big for me this year um, I, I love throwing it and coach Williams knows I love to throw it so I think that's going to be something that's very beneficial for me this year Nick you picked up a preseason All-American accolade what's that mean to you uh, you know that, that's cool and all but um, I, I like to think of myself as a team guy um, I'm not too worried about that that's that's great stuff and um, you know coach Mack always says don't don't buy into the press clippings it's not not that deep 
and uh, I completely agree with that. So, uh, you know, I'm just looking to help the team out as best as I can, and I thank everybody else. Like Logan, I know he got a lot of those too, but I know he's not worried about it either. So uh, I think as a whole, we're just ready to get out there and get to work. For either one of you defensively, what do you expect behind you? There will be a few new faces, but for the most part, there's a lot of guys back there that, that you're used to. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a comfortable feeling knowing that you got most of the guys behind you coming back. Um, you know their tendencies, you know you know where they like to play in certain, certain situations. Um, but yeah, you always like to have experience coming behind you. Um, I think the whole infield, maybe besides second base, is going to be new, so that's always great for pitchers. And just knowing, you know, a fly ball in the outfield, um, most likely he's going to get caught, you know, if, it, it's, if it's within range. So, um, yeah, just having that, you know, mentality where, you know, I'm going to put the ball in there, and then if they hit it, my defense can make a play for me. Uh, you know, for me, I think it's really easy to pitch with these guys behind uh, our pitching staff because obviously pitching is a strength and we always think of it as a strength, but then having uh, great defense behind us makes it even easier. Uh, you know, Logan at first base, is he's a vacuum. When the ball gets thrown over there, I'm almost positive he's going to catch it no matter where it's at. And uh, just having a good outfield and I think our infield's experience. So I think on that uh, part of baseball, I think we're going to be in business. Anybody else?